Okay, I'm back and I'm ready for showing you Pussy Willows on the wider vase and then I made a skinnier vase and I glued it down, I glued it down the same way on a pink background for for Scythia, which is a yellow kind of a spray branch. We have them growing outside our house. It's it, it's the, I think you might have seen them. They're really beautiful. They're like a it's like a shoot a spray. I'll show you how to do that. We're going to do that in brushwork. And this is the Pussy Willow, which has really not opened up. They're much more white, white and gray and a little more puffy. They look like cotton balls. All right. I'm going to write my name on this one at the bottom. This is my other one because I'd like you to do two. You could do more than two, but one is going to be for Pussy Willows and the other one is for Forsythia. Uh, one, whatever class, I'm doing a question mark because I don't know what class you may be in. And then the date is 3.30. Okay, I didn't do 20 on that one. All right, so now I also put this one over to the side so the spray can maybe go like that. You arrange your vase how you want to. So now I'm going to do, and think about your background color too because the branches are going to be a brown black I'm just jiggling in the brown pigment in the brown black, little brown, a little black, and I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna do a spray of branches. Whoop. And dip again if you want to, if you need to, and I'm gonna crisscross them. I'm just gonna do quick branches. That got a little dry brush on it. Dry brush can be beautiful, but for this project, let's try to get it. Okay, a few more maybe. Branches. Go off to the, the page, go off the page a little bit. All right, now for the Pussy Willows, these are gonna be the Pussy Willows. I'm do one more. For the Pussy Willows, if you have a thicker paint, sometimes watercolors come with a little tube of white, but if you have any white paint in your house, put a little bit on either a piece of plastic or the back of the, um, the watercolor palette and you just want to use your finger now to get the Pussy Willows on there. I'm using a little bit of black. Black is very overpowering. So you just want to use on your finger, no brush for this, middle finger. It's a little thicker than the watercolor paint. But like I said, watercolor paints often have a little tube of white. So you can use that. Or just put on, put a little bit of white paint on your finger. And then just dot for the Pussy Willows. Some are bigger than others. You can get a little, a tiny bit of black in there. Don't be afraid to use your finger, it's kind of fun. And you get not so even either. Try to get them I'm doing it a little too evenly. You can hold your finger down if you want a more white and you get the pussy willow effect. Maybe one at the top. Yeah, the tops are nice. Painting with your finger. I saw something like this with a Q-tip. They dip in a Q-tip, and I've also seen people glue the tops of Q-tips down for the Pussy Willows. Okay, there's the Pussy Willow. I made it a very, very even, but you're going to do a better job. Okay, that's the Pussy Willow. And now the Forsythia, same thing with the branches. Skinny brush. It's kind of a light brown, but... You jiggle your brush in the watercolor and get a nice thin spray. I'm kind of going over the side a little bit. This is the Forsythia branches. Maybe that's it. Okay, now for this, rinse your brush and get as much yellow on there as you can. Think about your background too. You won't get a pure yellow. Um, bright yellow if the background is dark. So try to go find a nice light color. And I'm just doing little, little 
little footprints, little claws, little claws to get the feel of forsythia. It's a spray, a little spray. Okay, I might use a little white, get a lighter. Okay, and here we have it. You noticed I added more designs to my other vase the last time I showed you my vase. I collaged a, a nut, two squiggles on it. Okay, feel free to fill it up, but you get the idea. For Scythia and Pussy Willows.